everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video for you guys and I have only done one other video like this ever. It is a homeschool day in the life. I thought it'd be really fun to bring you guys with me kind of on our first day of school back for the 2018-2019 school year. Um, and so a couple things are a little bit different just because it's the first day of school, but for the most part, the flow of our day is the same. I do pretty much everything the same way every day. The only difference is on our first day of school back for the year, we're not going to be doing an entirely full day. We're going to be kind of easing back into it, kind of seeing what they remember, where we left off. Other than that, and like giving them their little treats in the morning and their little signs that we have them take their pictures with. Other than that, this is pretty much a typical school day, how things go, how I get things done, um, the flow of our school day, and then what we do after school. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me today. So if you like homeschool videos and you're excited about a homeschool day in the life, definitely hit the like button down below and let's get started. My morning starts waking up with this goofball completely relaxed and taking up the entire bottom of the bed. But he was so relaxed this morning, he didn't actually come downstairs with me. He stayed in bed. So I'm going to go downstairs by myself this morning. Normally if Loki came with me, I would obviously let him out. Uh, but he decided to stay in bed. So I'm just going to get some work done. So oh, it's 721. Everybody's still asleep and I just got in our homeschool room in my office. Everything's pretty much ready. I've got the girls back to school gifts on their desk and I've got their signs that they're going to hold. Did I always take a picture of the first day of school? These I just printed off the internet. So first day of third grade and first day of ninth grade and my oldest daughter's gift. And there's Bean. She's eating. Isn't she cute? Hi, Bean. We'll give her some more alfalfa in a minute. Um, but that's pretty much ready. We're going to do not really a full day today. Um, just kind of pick up where we left off with some things, figure out what we need to work on with some other things. With my youngest daughter, I'm actually going to do some Mad Libs to kind of figure out what parts of speech she still remembers. It's kind of a fun little thing. Um, we're going to start our new history. We're getting ready to start, I think, volume three of Story of the Worlds. So we're going to do that. My oldest daughter will be doing starting Algebra 1 and teaching textbooks today. My youngest is still finishing up Math 3. There's some things that she needs to work on, and that's what I've got printed out here. So as I do pretty much every morning, I will get up and upload a video that I have coming up for YouTube. I will answer emails. I will do personal book work like pay bills or balance the checkbook. I try to do it before anybody gets up so that I can have some dedicated time to get some work done in peace and quiet. So on this day, I was uploading a YouTube video to get it ready for the next day. And I also try to spend some time doing a daily devotional. I've gotten really bad about that over the summer, but now that school's back, I'm trying to start doing that every morning. Just spend a little time with God and trying to improve my relationship with Him. So that's what I was doing there. And then once the girls get up, I always start a load of laundry every morning. I don't do it until they get up because I'm always afraid that the washer will wake them up. So they're up now, and while they're fixing their breakfast, I am starting a load of laundry. Breakfast. Something new I'm adding to my daily routine is Physician's Choice Collagen Peptides. It's specially formulated to help ease joint pain, which I've been having a little bit of lately. It's supposed to slow the aging process, build muscles, burn fat, and improve digestive health. There's even research that suggests that it can help improve cellulite and reduce the risk of osteoporosis, both of which run in my family. So like I said, I have been noticing some knee pain, especially lately, so I thought it would help with that. Physicians Choice Collagen Peptides is 100% hydrolyzed grass-fed collagen that is non-GMO, gluten-free, hormone-free from pasture-raised cows. It also includes a digestive enzyme blend that makes this collagen five times more absorbable than other collagen supplements. So the higher the absorption, the more effective it is. The nice thing too is it's a really, really fine powder, so it mixes with anything, water, coffee, smoothies, whatever you like for breakfast or throughout the day. It has no flavor and it's gonna mix really easily. If you have allergies, it has no soy and no gluten, no eggs, no wheat, no peanuts, shellfish, color additives, binders, or preservatives. So definitely check out the link below to read more about the Physician's Choice Collagen Peptides and the research behind using collagen and the benefits of it for you. This is something I'm just now starting, but I'm really excited to see how it changes anything. Now, after breakfast, we go in the homeschool room and start our lesson. Before you read these stories, you need to know a little bit about the world where they happened. 
The adventurers who sailed the sea in the year 1600 knew that huge oceans divided countries from each other, but they didn't know just how huge those oceans were. Today we know that water covers almost three quarters of the Earth's surface. Geographers divide all this water into five oceans. What's the five oceans? Atlantic, Pacific, I Indian, like Arctic, and Southern. Between and around these oceans lie large continents or masses of land. We divide the Earth's dry land into seven continents. She said North America and South America. What else? Uh, Europe, uh, Africa, Asia, oh, Australia, no. and Antarctica. Right. So Charles was still a teenager, but he was a teenager with three thrones. But Charles wanted even more. He wanted the title Holy Roman Emperor. Batman. Fifteen years before. What? <laughs> Fifteen years, fifteen hundred years before Charles was born, the Roman Empire spread across Europe and down into Africa. Okay, so that's all that. So now we need to do a little bit of geography. <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. South America. Whose turn, if anybody remembers, is it to find? Rock paper scissors. Best two out of three. You know, I never. I'm good at it anyway. Bean wants to play. She can't. She has no thumbs. Your turn. <laughs> Come on. Rock paper scissors shoot. What's that? She's shooting I, you. <laughs> I forgot to get bang. Okay, so South America, we're doing Brazil. Brazil. I have capital. nothing to scratch it off with. Wait, uh, uh, they're on the shelf right behind your head. What, what do I You're do? doing. <laughs> where's South America first of all? Is she gonna be on YouTube? No. Do, I do? do you see South America? That's right. So obviously, like I said, this day was not a full day and I obviously didn't show you everything we did. So after I've done pretty much everything I need to do with both girls and with my youngest especially, I give her her independent work for the entire day. I go and switch the laundry from the washer to the dryer. I head upstairs to get ready if we're going somewhere that day, which we usually are. Uh, so she works on her schoolwork while I get ready. And then we pretty much always go to Panera for lunch. There's a picture of what I have for lunch every day, although I do get it on white bread. And then by the time we eat, eat lunch, lunch and run any errands that we need to, it's time for the girls to go back and finish any independent work that they did not finish before we left. So they will do that while I start dinner. Now this is usually around 3.30. We eat dinner pretty early around here. We typically eat between 4 and 5.30. I know that makes me like an old lady to eat dinner that early, but I get hungry really fast. So if it's at all possible, I will make a meal that can be cooking while I exercise. So on this day, I was making a new recipe, which turned out to be awful and I will not make it again, but the point is still the same that I always try to get supper started and get it in the oven or get it on the stove so that I can work out while it cooks. So that's what I'm going to do. I got it on there. It was supposed to simmer for a while on the stove. So I turned it on, set the timer, and I went to get my workout done. So after I work out, we eat dinner. We usually watch Andy Griffith while we eat our dinner. And then after that, you know, we just basically have the rest of the day to do what we need to do. I don't get a lot of cleaning done throughout the day, but what I do is pretty minimal during the week on a school day. My girls help a lot. You know, we fold laundry, we put laundry away, unload or reload the dishwasher and those types of things. But, but thank goodness the girls do help me a lot. And also my husband is off one work day per week. So during the school year, I usually plan schoolwork for him to do with the girls the night before. And then he will do school with them on that day. And I take that day to clean, to film, to run errands and try to catch up with things. I hope you guys enjoyed this peek into our first day of homeschool and kind of how our overall homeschool routine runs. It's pretty much a typical homeschool day. Make sure you check out the description box for my entire homeschooling playlist and a link for the Physician's Choice Collagen Peptides. I think you guys would be really interested to read the research and the benefits of using a collagen powder. So definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.